Here are your three tips for Chapter 5 of the text for SVC Music Theory. Tip 1. Know your major keys and key signatures very well, and use this knowledge to identify parallel minor keys and relative minor keys. If you are shaky on your major key signatures, now is the time to get better at those. Do online drills available in the supplemental materials links and website to learn these solidly. Read Chapter 5 carefully to be able to find the parallel minor and relative minor keys of the major keys. You can use online drills to test yourself on those as well. You may also write out the circle of fifths adding minor keys and compare it to the chart on page 92. Finally, you should also practice finding the relative major key when starting with a minor key, which is explained on page 93. Tip 2. The leading tone and the subtonic are different, but both refer to a form of the seventh scale degree and are both found in minor keys. Pages 99 to 102 speaks about the different types of minor scales as well as the names of all the scale degrees. You will find that the leading tone is a seventh scale degree that is one half step away from the tonic. The subtonic is the seventh scale degree that is a whole step away from the tonic. The natural minor scale, which is the one that is limited to the notes within the minor key signature, includes the subtonic as the seventh scale degree. However, in many minor pieces, the seventh scale degree can be found in its lowered form, the subtonic, or through accidental in its raised form, the leading tone. And seeing these accidentals is one indication that the piece is in a minor key rather than a major key. Tip 3. Learn how to find the key signature of modes as compared to major keys, but also learn the characteristics of modes independent from major keys. Page 105 to 110 explains the different types of diatonic modes and several ways to find them. Any mode can start on any note, and this adds a lot more key signatures for you to learn. There is at least one method that involves finding the key signatures of modes based on knowing the major key signatures. Beyond that, there is a modes color chart available in the supplemental materials folder and website that lists the modes from brightest to darkest, and composers in particular should learn and know the characteristics of modes in this way. Remember, these videos are a supplement to the reading and do not replace the required reading you should do and engaged thinking you should do through the workbook exercises.